Look, we've all been there, haven't we? Rushing to that meeting, stressing about traffic, praying we don't show up sweaty and flustered. But what if I told you there's a hidden gem in Google Calendar that can transform your schedule into a time management masterpiece? Let's dive into this travel time hack and ditch the last minute stress for good. Hey, this is Priya from That Online Stuff and I offer usable and practical advice on how to solve your small business problems with Google Workspace. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is open up your Google Calendar on desktop as sadly this hack actually isn't possible using the mobile app. Then you're either going to create your meeting or edit an existing meeting. Make sure you add uh, the address of your meeting or event and in this example I'm going to set the location as the SB Hotel at St Kilda Beach. Then click on the preview in maps icon next to the location field. Google Maps will pop up right in the sidebar with your meeting location set as the destination and the arrive by time set for the start of your meeting. Click on directions and enter your starting point like your home or office. Because of privacy reasons, I'm obviously not putting either of those locations in today. Instead, I'm going to be traveling from the State Library of Victoria. Choose whether you'll be traveling by car, public transport, walking or cycling. Because I'm in Melbourne, I'll be choosing public transport. Once you've got your starting point and your travel mode set, you can click the Add to Calendar button. If there are more than one routes offered, just select the route that you want and then Add to Calendar. Google will automatically create a brand new event before your main one, factoring in the travel time from your starting point to the meeting spot. And best of all, you'll be marked as busy for that particular commute time so you hopefully won't get booked for any meetings. If you've got default notifications set up then those will be applied to this event as well but otherwise you might want to add a notification to the event just to make sure you remember to actually leave. Thanks for watching and I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I release more Google Workspace information specifically designed for small business owners.